Hello and welcome. This is Alec Hare with Chapter 13 in the series The History of Rock and Roll, The Big Hits. In this program, we look at the top records of 1967 and see that Buckingham's first record, Kind of a Drag, make number one on February 18th. They were followed by the Rolling Stones with their fourth number one hit, Ruby Tuesday. She would never say where she came from. Yesterday don't matter if it's gone. While the sun is bright Or in the darkest night No one knows She comes and goes were followed by the Supremes with Love Is Here and Now You're Gone. Then came the Beatles with their first number one for the year. Penny Lane, there is a bomb showing photographs. Penny Lane was the Beatles' 13th number one record in just over three years, which wasn't a bad effort. There followed the Turtles with their first number one hit, Happy Together, on March 25th. In 1966, both Frank Sinatra and his, and his daughter Nancy achieved number one hits individually. In 1967, they pooled their talent and had a big hit with Something Stupid. I know I stand in line until you think you have the time to spend an evening with me. Some place to dance I know that there's a chance You won't be leaving with me And afterwards we drop into A quiet little place And have a drink or two And then I go and spoil it all By saying something stupid Like I love you I can see it in your eyes that you despise the 
to Access Radio and the history of rock and roll, the big hits. If you're interested in making a program on Access Radio, why not write or ring? The number is 600721 or write to 3ZZ Access Radio GPO Box 1686 in Melbourne and they'll be only too pleased to give you all the necessary information. Following Nancy came the Supremes again with their second number one of the year, The Happening, from the film of the same name. The Young Rascals achieved their second number one hit on March 20th with a real layback number called Groovin. Franklin was born in Detroit, Michigan, the daughter of a pastor of the Baptist Church. She was just 18 when she signed her first recording contract with Columbia Records in 1960. She had not achieved a number one record since her career had begun, but this changed in 1967 with her second record for her new label, Atlantic, Respect. 
There followed the association with their second number one hit, Windy. followed by The Doors, led by the late Jim Morrison with their first record and number one hit, Light My Fire. The Beatles had their second number one for the year, rather an unusual song which was featured in the movie Yellow Submarine. Yellow Submarine was quickly displaced by Bobby Gentry, a new girl on the scene who hailed from California. Her own composition, Ode to Billy Joe, made number one on August 26th and was replaced shortly thereafter by the box tops hit, The Letter. You're listening to The History of Rock and Roll, The Big Hits, on Access Radio, 3ZZ, where the people make the programs. Myrie Laurie, better known as Lulu, first made a name for herself in 1964 when she recorded a hit version of the Isley Brothers' Shout. But her real break came in 1967, when she appeared in the film To Sir With Love, with Sidney Poitier. She recorded the theme from the movie and achieved her first number one hit with it on October 21st.
Following Lulu came the punk rock group Strawberry Alarm Clock with Incense and Peppermints. The Monkees came along next with their first number one for the year, a catchy song with a title perhaps indicative of the times, Daydream Believer. It made number one on December 2nd. brought 1967 to a close on December 30th with Hello, Goodbye. And that brings us to the end of Chapter 13 in the history of rock and roll, The Big Hits. In our next show, we hope next week, we feature the top records of 1968. So until that time, this is Alec here saying goodbye and good rocking.
and you can hear chapter 14 of the history of rock and roll next week the big hits of 1968